This is the image of St. Vincent Strambi somewhat unknown to many, his household word in central Italy. The life of this heroic champion of the faith is full of lessons for us all, but one stands out in bold relief, his unswerving loyalty to the Holy See in time of persecution. In defense of its rights, he suffered six years of exile, and finally gave up his life that a pope might not die. Today, the 25th September, the church celebrates the feast of St. Vincent Strambi. Welcome to the scent of the day. Vincent Strambi was born in Civita Vecchia, the port city of Rome on January 1, 1745. He was a cheerful and athletic child who manifested a strong interest in religion. When he was 15, he entered the diocesan seminary at nearby Montefiascone. Two years later, he decided to continue his studies in Rome. The following year, he attended the Dominican House of Studies in Viterbo, to study theology. Prior to his ordination he was named rector and professor within his seminary, Montefiascone. While on his ordination retreat, he met St. Paul of the Cross and immediately decided to become a Passionist. Paul of the Cross named him Professor of Theology, the Crutch Fathers and Preaching. Traveling throughout most of Italy, he tried to promote the Christian life among the people by preaching on the Passion. He wrote Life of Saints, including a Life of St. Paul of the Cross, and devotional books, the most significant of which was that on the Precious Blood. Being an outstanding spiritual director, and two of his spiritual children, are Saint Gaspar del Buffalo and Blessed Anna Maria, Tki. Appointed Bishop of Maserato and Tolentino, he showed himself to be a true shepherd of his flock and promoted the reform of the clergy and the people with apostolic zeal. In the political upheavals of the time, he was a fearless advocate of the freedom of the church and chose exile in preference to an unlawful oath of loyalty to Napoleon. When he returned to his diocese after exile, he once again manifested his deep pastoral concern and extraordinary charity for the poor. He was called by Pope Leo XII to become his personal advisor. When the Pope fell ill, Vincent asked God that his life should be taken rather than that of the Pope. The Pope recovered and Vincent died a few days later on his 79th birthday, January 1, 1824. His body was then buried in the church of Santi Giovanni Paolo, Rome. Pope Pius XII canonized him in 1950.